let's work through a few more examples of just computing dot products and norms and norms of sums of vectors and things like that just to get a little bit more practice with the notation and the computations. So this video is dot product and norm examples. We're just going to do a variety of computations and the computations are going to use these vectors here. U is 3, negative 5, 2. V is 4, 5, negative 6. And we're going to do the variety computations. First part, part A, let's compute u dot v. That's pretty simple. We've done that type of thing a few times. We just need to take each coordinate of the vector times the respective coordinate of the other vector and then add them all up. So that's going to be u transpose times v. Right? That's really what we're doing here when we do the dot product. We take the first vector and transpose it times the second vector. In this case, u transpose is now a 1 by 3. This is a 3 by 1. So the inner dimensions match like they have to. And the outer dimension, 1 and 1, tells us the result of the product. So 1 by 1 is a scalar, just like it's supposed to be. So we have 3 times 4, plus a negative 5 times 5, plus 2 times a negative 6. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 25, minus 12. And we get a negative 25 for that dot product. All right, what about the norm squared? So by definition, the norm is the square root of a dot product with a vector with itself. The norm squared is just a dot product of the thing with itself. So this is just u dot u, which is u transpose u, which we know means just take each coordinate times itself. So we're gonna get three times three, plus a negative five times a negative five, plus two times two, which gives us nine, 25 and 4. So that's the norm squared of u. That all adds up to 38. Let's compute the norm squared of v. Very similar thing. The norm squared of v is v dot v, which is v transpose v, which is just each coordinate of v times itself. So that is 4 squared plus 5 squared plus a negative 6 squared, which is 16 plus 25 plus 36. If we add all that up, we get 77. All right, what about the norm squared of u plus v? How would we work through that? Well, that's going to be u plus v. Let's figure out what that is first, and then we can take the norm squared of it. So u is 3, negative 5, 2, and v was 4, 5, negative 6. So if we add each coordinate, 3 plus 4 is 7, a negative 5 plus 5 is 0. 2 plus a negative 6 is a negative 4, so we end up with that. So then the norm squared is just this vector dot, dotted with itself. So then I have 7 squared plus 0 squared plus a negative 4 squared, which is 49 plus 16, which gives me 65. All right, so that is the norm squared of a sum of vectors. And then let's do the following. Remember in the previous video, we derived an expression for the norm squared of a sum of vectors. So the norm squared of u plus v turned out to be the norm squared of u plus the norm squared of v plus two times the dot product between u and v. We've actually computed now every single component in this. So just as kind of a sanity check, let's go ahead and make sure that this is indeed true. The norm squared of u plus v we just computed is 65. On the previous chart, we computed the norm squared of u for was 77. The norm squared of v was 38. And then two times the dot product of u and v, u dot v was minus 25. So let's see, 77 plus 38 minus 50 is 77 minus 50 is 27. And then 27 plus 38 is indeed 65, just like it's supposed to be. So nothing profound here, just we computed these individual components. This is a nice identity that we have for the norm squared of a sum, just kind of checking that these computations all go with each other like they're supposed to.